Actions. Hola, es hora de acción positiva. It's talk it out Tuesday. Inclusion and in Spanish, inclusión. This week for positive actions, we will look at ways to be kind to each other and include our friends. And for our talk on Tuesday, we're going to meet a friend coming to us this week from Berkeley Springs High School. Her name is Emma Christie. Emma recently competed in the Poetry Out Loud contest at Berkeley Springs High School. Poetry is positive for your intellectual wellness. Just listen to this. Ways of Talking by Hygiene. We used to like talking about grief. Our journals and letters were packed with losses, complaints, and sorrows. Even if there was no grief, we wouldn't stop lamenting as though longing for the charm of a distressed face. Then we couldn't help expressing grief. So many things descended without warning. Labor wasted, loves lost, houses gone, Marriage is broken, friends estranged, ambitions worn away by immediate needs. Words lined up in our throats for a good whining. Grief seemed like an endless river, the only immortal flow of life. After losing a land and then giving up a tongue, we stopped talking of grief. Smiles begin to brighten our faces. We laugh a lot at our own mess. Things become beautiful even hailstones in the strawberry fields. Semi-Splendid by Tracy K. Smith. You flinch, some thing flickers, not fleeing your face. My heart hammers to the ceiling, telling my tongue to turn it down. Too late, the something climbs, leaps, is falling now across us like the prank of an icy, brainy lord. I chose the wrong word. I am wrong for not merely choosing to smile, to pull you toward me in a way from what you think of as that other me, who wanders lost among. Among whom? The many? The rare? I wish you didn't care. I watch you watching her. Her very shadow is a rage that trashes the rooms of your eyes. Do you claim surprise at what she wants? The poor girl, pelting, pelted with despair, who flits from grief to grief? Isn't it you she seeks? And if you blame her, know that she blames you for choosing not her, but me. Love is never fair, but do we, should we, care? That's that one. That was possum. Thank you, Emma Christie, for reciting poetry for this week on Talkin' Tuesday. Hey, Morgan County Scholars, wasn't that cool? Emma Christie memorized two poems, and she did a possum job, didn't she? And coming up, do you know that memorization is good for your intellectual wellness? So get ready for a word soon memory here in positive actions. What can you memorize? It's good for the brain. Positive, a positive action kid. That's what I am.